Hi, it's Tanya Reed here again, the lead publisher at Tanya Reed Publications, and I'm so glad that you have joined me again. It's kind of dark in here today, huh? Well, I'm sitting in the bookstore before we open so I can give you a couple of tidbits about uh, your book and your marketing your book. So forgive me if it looks dark on this side, but that's why the light is not very, um, should be brighter in a bookstore, right? I wanted to talk to you today about uh, those publishers who promise to put your books into the major bookstores. If you go online and look up publishers or printers or however you, you do your search, you will see that a lot of places offer to put you into Barnes and Nobles and, and uh, what's the other one, Borders and, and different ones like that. Well, the truth of the matter is most of them are not actually talking about the bookstore itself. They're talking about the websites. So if they promise to put your books into these major bookstores, they're probably talking about the websites. And so I suggest that you dig deeper into that before you have your hopes up high thinking that uh, they're going to display your books in their bookstores. Barnes and Nobles and Borders and, and many different uh, large book companies have millions of books on their shelves. And so it's very hard when you put your books in there, especially being a first time author, uh, uh, coming out, you know, fresh out of the womb, as we say, and uh, put your books there. Because if nobody knows that you're there, then your book is just going to sit on the shelf and collect dust. So here at TRP, we do not push uh, the fact of putting our books on major uh, bookstores shelves. What we like to um, push is uh, uh, getting your own online bookstore or your own online book site. We call them book sites. And what it is is just a website that uh, um, talks about your book and, and uh, um, offers a place for you to buy your book online. It's much better. Let's say, for instance, that you put your books into one of these major... Oh, that's the light was coming in my store. Let's say that you put your books on one of these major uh, uh, bookshelves, and your book sells for $14.95. Well, what happens is, is that uh, once they get their cut out of the money, uh, and perhaps even if you have print-on-demand, once the print-on-demand gets their cut, then your your royalty check is probably going to be about two dollars. Um, I will say three dollars at the most, but that's pushing it. Your royalty check was would not be big at all. And so imagine selling uh, these books at, and, and receiving two dollars for your work. Um, uh, if you are a, a, a major seller and you sell a hundred thousand copies, fifty thousand copies then $2 sounds real good to you. But if you're like most of us who are starting out into this business, then $2 is really not any money. We suggest that you uh, get your own book site, your own website, and, and sell the books off of your site and off of your publisher's site if possible. Because um, what happens is, if you sell it on your own book site and uh, the book is fourteen ninety five. Well, then guess who gets to keep that that profit when the book sells? That's right, you do. Now, one thing I want to tell you is that uh, up front you have to pay pay the publisher. Well, I know you do here. You have to pay the publisher up front for the many copies that you want. Let's say if you order a hundred copies at about five dollars a book, four dollars a book. Um, then you sell the book for fourteen ninety five. Then that big long margin of of a, a profit comes back to you, and we are really in the business to help the authors to bring the money back into their pockets, because it's just not fair that you do all the work, you do all the writing to put your work out there, and that other people benefit mainly off of your work. Um, other people get rich off of your work. You should be the one who benefit from your writing. So, to wrap it all up, uh, make sure that you check out uh, the publishers that you you are looking into get, getting with, excuse me, uh, and make sure that uh, when they say they're going to do something, make sure it is what they say they're going to do, uh, because a lot of times they 
they it sounds good when you read it it sounds good when they tell it to you but then in the end you'll find out and I've actually had a gentleman who uh, told me that he didn't want to uh, hire this firm to uh, do his book because he had already talked to a couple of other publishers and they promised him to put his books on the shelves and um, I told him uh, good luck and uh, give me a call back in a few months because I was very curious about how that turned out um, and again if you are if you do have the chance to put your books on the bookshelves at these major companies just know that you still have to market your book. You still have to go into the highways and the byways and compel them to come. <laughs> you still have to go out and tell the people, this is where you find my book on these bookshelves. These days, uh, the internet is, is more profitable because you don't have to pay to stock books. You don't have to uh, pay to uh, uh, for other people to sell your books for you. It's more profitable to have your own book site and to have uh, um, these books filtered through you. Now, the only thing about you having your own um, uh, checking, or not checking, Jesus, um, your own, uh, what do you call it, PayPal account or a shopping cart. Thank you, Lord, thank you. Shopping cart. The only thing about having your own shopping cart is that uh, you have to fill the orders. And I know many of you don't have time to do that. You might think you do, but trust me when I tell you that when the orders start coming in, you have to be the one that sends the book out. And if you're going to be thorough like we do here, you're going to have to make sure you print up all of the invoices or uh, receipts, I should say. You're going to have to send out emails thanking the people for ordering your book. You're going to have to send out information uh, when the book is being shipped. Uh, you're going to get calls when some people don't receive their books. Uh, you're going to have to make sure that the books are, are shipped out in a timely manner. So it becomes a headache. And that's why we here at TRP, we do offer the service of, of um, being that person who does your books for you. And so in the next video, we're going to talk about our consignment program here at TRP. I think it's one of the best and um, um, it's really geared towards putting the money back into the Arthur's pocket. So I will see you on the next video. Okay. God bless.